Oh my God, Peter, it's so long and skinny. If you've ever had a kegerator build or bought a kegerator, uh, a long time ago, it probably came with a line like this, which is vinyl lines. But in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and break down all the different kinds of lines that we sell and tell you the pros and cons of each. I've got coffee. I've got chaffle potamus. Let's start with the vinyl. First of all, vinyl is going to be your cheapest option out of all these. And one thing that is a overall positive about it, especially if you get thicker walled vinyl, is it is very easy to clamp down. And so I like this because it's uh, a better fit over a lot of barb sizes and easier to make sure it's a snug fit. Uh, one of the downsides of vinyl is that it does uh, scratch on the inside very easily and corrode on the inside, which means vinyl is going to be the biggest flavor picker upper out of all your lines. Meaning with this line, you have to clean it more often and replace it probably every year or two. Lastly, and something that a lot of people don't think about, but everyone should know, is that vinyl, out of all the different types of lines, has the highest internal friction, meaning that it slows the beer down the most when beer goes through it. And so for 3 16 if we're calling that our standard interior diameter beverage size, the vinyl will take a shorter draw to make sure that your beer is slowed down by the time it hits the back of your faucet. Going away from vinyl, let's talk about poly lines. Poly lines were probably the original solution to the problem of vinyl lines picking up flavors so easily. Poly lines are better at not picking up flavors, usually more chemical resistance. And so poly lines won't get a bunch of corrosion and stuff stuck in them. The original poly lines though, like this, are very rigid and difficult to clamp down. Unless you have really good tube management, poly lines can actually be a pain in the butt to work with in your kegerator. The rigidity was solved a little bit when we go with these newer lines uh, that we get from the Comos brands. These are also a style of poly line. Uh, that are slightly more flexible and have a little bit of give so that they're easier to clamp down. The Comos kegerators also happen to come with duo tight fittings, meaning the installation of these lines is very easy. Overall, I do happen to prefer thicker lines because I like the ability to clamp down on those lines a little bit better. When we're talking about the friction of these lines, both these lines have less internal friction than vinyl lines by about a factor of two thirds. And so if you had five feet of vinyl lines, that'd be worth about eight feet of these. Finally, kind of like Jake Paulist boxing, we have the best ever in the world uh, possibility for tubing. It actually has some flaws, but this is the EJ Beverage uh, Ultra Barrier. It's antimicrobial. It has all the same benefits that the poly line has, meaning it won't pick up flavors very easily. It doesn't corrode on the inside. It's chemical resistant. Um, and this also comes with the added benefit of being super bendy. Uh, which I like bendy lines because tubing management inside your draft system becomes that much easier. And these come in thicker walls, meaning you can clamp them down and use an oversized barb, meaning your connections will be really secure. So this would be probably the top tier beverage line, especially if you're going with a shorter draw system that we carry. Quick recap on all these. The most common line and the cheapest and easiest to get is vinyl lines. They also happen to be pretty easy to use for an inexpensive option. So for a lot of starters, I wouldn't say no to getting a line like this. You just gotta know to clean this out a lot. Next, we got the poly lines. The poly lines are a good option if you don't wanna have to clean your stuff very often because they are flavor and chemical resistant. Uh, and if you don't wanna worry about the uh, issues of cord management there, you can go with an antimicrobial EJ beverage line, also flavor resistant. And that's, that's what we got. I just fist, fisted the line, poly line. Also, you know, I showed you our tubes. If you wanna see our pipes, check out our OnlyFans. That's the end of the video. The, this is what I do for closing out. I, I recap some stuff and then I tell you to follow us on all the social medias. If you do happen to follow us on Instagram and we inspired you in the old year or in the new year to do something, then tag us to show us your genus. Shirts are coming. It's because I'm a baller shot collar, 20 inch blades.